Hey everybody, Saint here. Hope you're doing well and uh, having a good day. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, Dark Souls 3 Poise is turned off. Wow, did you guys know that? Did you guys know that Dark Souls 3 Poise is just turned off? There's no poise in Dark Souls 3. Oh, what's that? You're a, you're a Dark Souls 3 big brain? You know that poise is not turned off? You know that poise really was working as intended? Well, they didn't know that. They didn't know it back in 2016. They had no idea. And if you get on Twitch right now, and you go watch a challenge runner, or a speed runner, no hit runner, you go watch them play Dark Souls 3, you know what you'll see in chat? Do you know what you'll see in chat? People still saying Dark Souls 3 is poise turned off. Poise is turned off in Dark Souls 3. You'll still see people say it. To this day. To this day. So, when people started saying backstabs were broken, hey, by the way, if you like my desktop here, it's by an artist named Nemanja, who has all kinds of incredible work. Their Twitter handle is at NattyDread011. Incredible artwork. Uh, on Twitter, check them out. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the first thing that happens is... Backstabs are broken in Elden Ring. I already see it on Reddit. I already see it on Twitch. I already see it on Twitter. I already see it on YouTube. I already see it on Discord. I already see it. It's everywhere. Already. Backstabs are broken. And I understand that being your first reaction. I totally get it. Fucking A. Did they just turn backstabs off in today's network test? I understand, okay? I get it. I do. Your first reaction, probably a lot like mine. What in the hell is going on? But, rather than jump to conclusions and start making a bunch of YouTube videos about how backstabs are broken and they don't work and they're turned off in the network test, I instead decided to look through my footage and see if I could make sense of what was happening. So, that's what's going to happen. First and foremost, let me say, I am not worried about this at all. One, because the Dark Souls community and the PvP community uh, at that is full of terrible ideas. Awful ideas. And, for example, a lot of people say Dark Souls 3 invasions are too hard, they're just ganks, I just get ganked, I don't like it. And if you said, well, how would you fix it? You'll hear solutions like phantoms should be able to hit each other. That's a bad idea. Why is it a bad idea? I want you now to imagine a world where that happened and you get on YouTube and your YouTube is bombarded with videos that are like, this guy summoned me, but instead I hit him a bunch. Okay? And you say, well, what if they just gave him friendly fire, but it didn't do damage, it just staggered him? What if it just staggered him? Like Monster Hunter, Saint. What if that happened? Check this out. This guy summoned me, and he thought I was going to help him, but I just stunlocked him a bunch. It's a dumb idea. How did From decide to actually fix it? With brain magic, with thinking and thoughts. They gave us the phantom dried finger, and you can just leave. You can just leave. Is it free? No. You can. It, if someone hits you, they can interrupt it. They can stop you from getting away. But you can use it if you know how. You, they gave you a tool to get away, right? Because they're smarter than us. Because they make video games. They're good at their jobs. You know how I know they're good at their jobs? Because you like the video games so much, you're watching videos about it on YouTube. For today's exercise, I would like to call this the snap. Now, if you're a Dark Souls 3 big brain like me, and by the way, I literally paid my car off by explaining how this works. I'm not kidding. I'm not talking shit about you. Everybody got really mad at me. I'm talking about me. I literally paid my car off explaining this. The game is better if I don't have to explain it. Literally, take my money, okay? 
I did. Me. I paid my car off with Dark Souls 3 explanations. Do you understand that? That's insane. We're calling this the snap. I run behind this player. I initiate a backstab. My console says, hey, I'm trying to backstab right now. Their console says, well, I'm in range for it. I'm in range for a backstab, so, uh, snap back into place. He was looking at me. You saw that. He was looking at me. He stopped looking at me. And he was snapped. He was snapped back into place. Okay? So as I look over my footage, what do I see? Elden Ring has decided to get rid of the snap. If you got a backstab, there was no snap. There was no snap required. This person is going to roll through me. I put myself in position for a backstab, and then they go for a parry. They get backstabbed. No snap necessary. If you think that parries are too free and that they should be backstabbable, don't ask for backstabs to be improved. Ask for parries to be made worse. Again, I don't have to worry about it because From Software is smarter than you. They're better at making video games than you are. So I know that they're not going to just make backstabs look stupid again. I love Dark Souls 3 backstabs. You understand? I like them. You've, hopefully, you've watched, like and subscribe to my videos about Dark Souls 3 backstabs. Because I made them. <laughs> I like them. But you know what? If I want Dark Souls 3 backstabs, I can still play Dark Souls 3. Elden Ring is different. It's time for something different. And more people can enjoy it. And more people can like it. Because they don't have to get on YouTube and pay some dude's car off to understand the mechanics. Not your car. My car. Literally paid off by Dark Souls 3 explanations. This person rolled. I put myself in position. They went for a parry. The game said no snap is necessary. Enjoy your backstab, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Now, the idea that parries are kind of free, like, I get that. I understand. But ask for, instead, more recovery frames on parries. Not that backstabs be faster. Ask that parries be made worse. Not that the backstab... You know what I'm saying? Like, a, a whiffed parry at that. Like, give a whiffed parry more recovery. They did this, actually, in Dark Souls 3. The Cestus parry used to be much better. It's still insanely good. This is the other thing. You people are like, oh, parry spam is unpunishable now. Like, when a host just spams parry and plays 50-50, meaning you walk up to them and there's a 50-50 chance they parry, there's a 50-50 chance they just press R1 with a straight sword, you think that's still not incredibly good? When you have 15 Estus and 10 Siegbrows and a Divine Blessing? And all it takes is one? They only have to get one? And you're dead? You, you, you think they're not? Still a little overpowered? Guess what? They used to be even better. From made it where on a missed parry, on a partial parry with the Cestus, you lose your stamina. All of your stamina goes away. And you'll get that thunk sound when you hit somebody. It, it, it could still be better. They could still increase that and make it on any whiffed parry. The set, you know what I'm saying? Like they could make parries worse and it wouldn't hurt my feelings at all. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is, I know everybody's yelling about backstabs and uh, parries are free, parries are free, parries are free. Again, here's another thing to keep in mind. You have not seen anything of this game. You've seen 1% of this game. How much damage will power stanced, unparryable weapon art, paired ultra great swords do? <laughs> Somebody goes for a parry and you hit them with that. The curved sword weapon art, unparryable, true combos. Uh, there's, there's things we haven't seen. You understand? You saw 1% of this game and you're willing to be like, nope, parries are the best. People are just going to spam them. They're unpunishable. I'm a big brain. I'm smart. I know things. No, you don't. You've seen a shadow, a glimmer of this game in a dream. 
What happens here? My dumbass casts a spell, no snap is required, and I get backstabbed. No snap required, enjoy your backstab. My opponent goes for a running attack. Also, let me apologize. I know this footage probably looks a little blurry and stuff. These are clips of clips of clips, okay? I apologize. But if you if you really want to understand the mechanics, just deal with it. Goes for a running R1. In Dark Souls 3, this is a free backstab. This is a gimme. Not so in Elden Ring. Something else has to happen. My opponent goes for a swing. My opponent is going for a follow-up attack. I'm already behind them. No snap is necessary. Welcome to the backstab. Enjoy your backstab. So now, let's watch this other clip that we've already seen. And so here's the thing. You, Dark Souls 3 Big Brain, uh, you're saying you understand latency. I understand latency. I Okay, then what happened here? What's happening on my screen is not the same as what's happening on his. You know that. I know you know that. Because you'll explain this backstab, you'll explain it. You'll explain it to me. You know what latency is. I know you do. So how do you not understand what's happening here, big brain? What's happening on my screen and what's happening on his screen are different. There's latency. The game would have had to have snapped. He would have snapped. If I got this backstab, the game was going to have to bring him back here to me. He would have snapped. Elden Ring says no snaps allowed. Mom said you're not allowed to snap anymore. This player right here, if they're a Dark Souls 3 big brain, they feel like they got robbed out of a backstab. Let's see it from my perspective. If this was Dark Souls 3, they would have backstabbed me right here. I'm done. They got me. But in Elden Ring, there would have been a snap. Wouldn't there? No snaps allowed. Try again, sir. Jump attacks. When I saw the jump heavy attack, I thought, that's a free backstab. And it, it is, a lot of the time, if somebody tries to swing out of it, because that's what just happened. Not only did he miss the jump attack, now I'm going for a backstab, and he decides he's going to try an attack. And he gets backstabbed and no snap was required. Again, I know, I'm sorry. Clips of clips. The footage doesn't look great, but I promise you, he's going for an attack. He's going for a follow-up swing, and instead he gets backstabbed. That's uh, Elden Ring. No snaps allowed. That's what they did. That's what they changed. And uh, if you want to complain about it, if you don't like it, I get it. I get that. But don't tell me it's broken, and don't tell other people it's broken. Because we'll be reading about how poise is turned off for another five years. Don't be stupid. Don't be foolish. <laughs> I'm begging you. If you don't like it and you want it changed, I understand. I understand. Again, you can always just play Dark Souls 3 where it is the way you like. But we don't know how the mechanic will change between here and there. If they do change it, I'm sure they'll have better ideas than we do. And uh, again, anything that makes it easier to understand for the regular player is uh, better for the game. They shouldn't have to get on YouTube to figure it out. They shouldn't have to pay off my car, not your car, my car, to figure out these mechanics. They should, they should be clear and concise and on the screen. And the game will be better for it. Thanks for watching my video. If you want to help me pay off another car, like and subscribe. I appreciate you watching. <laughs> Later, y'all.